friends today our topic of discussion is comb shot so most of you might be wondering that what is comb shot of course it is a comb it is a shorting algorithm which we are going to use to sort a list of numbers or any alphanumerical characters so comb sort is basically an improvement over bubble sort so it is an improvement it is an improvement over bubble sort now that means that comb sort has an advantage over the traditional bubble sort technique so suppose we have been given a group of numbers or a list of numbers you can say rather 50 40 30 20 and 10 look these numbers are in descending order and you want to arrange them in ascending order fine now what is the technique we are going to use to sort these numbers in ascending order the technique is obviously comb sort now there exists some difference between comb sort and bubble sort what we do in bubble sort is that we compare the adjacent numbers but in comb sort there is another factor we need to consider and this is known as gap fine and before discussing gap let me first mark the indices of these numbers this is position 0 or index 0 you can say you can say that 1 2 3 and 4 so we have five numbers from index from index 0 to index 4 now let me come to the point of gap so what is a gap gap is nothing but a factor by which we are going to compare two numbers this gap is basically an advantage in comb sort over the traditional bubble sort technique so first we will take a variable known as gap and initialize with the value which is same as the number of elements in the list so how many elements are there in the list 1 2 3 4 and 5 so gap is 5 now every at every iteration the gap will reduce by a factor of 1.3 okay it will reduce by a factor of 1.3 and this factor is known as shrinking factor that means at every iteration we need to reduce the gap between two numbers which are going to compare fine now the question arises that how what is the limit that i need to compare the numbers until the gap is greater than or equals to 1 we need to perform the comb shot technique fine now let me explain you how this technique actually works okay fine so we have this unsorted list i am calling it unsorted because we want to uh, sort them in this ascending order they are in they are in actually they are initially in descending order fine this position 0 this is position 1 this is position 2 this is position 3 this is position 4 and at first the gap is 5 now what i am going to do is that i need to shrink the gap by 1.3 so 5 divided by 1.3 will result in 3 because i am dividing to integer values okay so first the gap is 3 so if we consider a element at position x1 suppose say where x1 is a position then i need to consider an element another element which is at position x1 plus gap that means the position of this element this element this particular element and this particular element should lie at a gap of 3 that means if we call this position as x2 that means x2 minus x1 should be equal to the gap so we will begin our comparison from the first element so at first we will compare a0 and what is 0 plus 3 that means i need to consider 
this element we need to compare a0 and a3 if it is if that a0 is 50 and a3 is 20 and if the, the this element this element is greater than the element which we are comparing with at a particular gap is greater then we need to swap them that means after swapping the list will look like this okay then i need to then i will increment then i will increment then i need to compare the element at position 1 and the element at position 1 plus 3 that means i need to compare a1 and a4 and what is a1 in our list 40 this is position 0 1 2 3 and 4 and what is the element at a4 10 since 40 is greater than 10 we need to swap them so the list will look like after swapping 40 10 30 50 and 40 okay now if we go to a2 then there is no such element located at position 2 plus 4 that is 6 okay so we simply need to ignore this iteration fine at the second iteration we will reduce the gap again by a factor of 1.3 we need to that means we need to divide the gap by 1.3 and the result will be 2 now again we will compare a0 with the element which lies at the position such that the difference between the two elements that is, that is the difference between the position of these two elements is 2 that means I need to compare a0 and a2 it means 20 with 30 20 is obviously smaller than 30 so I don't need to do any swapping it is already smaller than 30 if it is greater than 30 then we need to do the swapping otherwise not so you don't need to do anything then I need to compare a1 a1 with a3 a1 and a3 now a1 is 10 and a3 is 50 again a1 is less than 50 so you don't need to do anything fine then we need to compare a2 and 2 plus the gap that means a4 what is a2 come here what is a2 a2 is 30 what is a4 a4 is 40 so again we observe again we observe the 30 is less than 40 so we don't need to do anything fine now if we come at a3 then there will be no such element at position a5 because our array index is at most 4 so we simply need to ignore the iteration now at the next iteration the gap will again reduced by the factor 1.3 that means at this iteration the gap will be 1 so let me write rewrite the list 20 10 30 50 and 40 now we again need to compare 20 and 10 that means we need to compare the element and the element at a position such that the difference between the positions of these two elements differs by 1 that means we need to compare a0 and a1 look here their position differs by 1 that means the value of gap a0 is 20 and a1 is 10 since 20 is greater than 10 we need to swap them so 20 the list will look like 20 10 sorry 10 20 30 50 and 40 again we need to compare a2 with the element at a position such that the difference between the position of these two elements is 1 that means the gap value because gap is gap here is 1 that means we need to compare a, a1 not a2 this means we need to compare a1 with a2 a1 is 20 and a2 is 30 since 20 is less than 30 we simply ignore this because we don't need to do anything now we come at iteration now we come at position a2 Okay, and we need to compare this with a3 
a2 is 30 and a3 is 50. Since 30 is smaller than 50, we don't need to do anything. Now we come at position 3 and we will compare a3 with a4 because the difference between the position is 1 that is a gap value. What is a3? a3 is 50 and a4 is 40. Since 50 is greater than 40, we need to do the swapping. So after the swapping, the list will look like 20, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Fine. Now, if we reach, now if then in, at the next point, next iteration, we will reach at uh, position a4. Now, 4 plus 1 will result in a5, will result in 5. But there exists no such element a5 in this list because our array indices is at, is at most 4. So we need to skip the iteration and the gap value will reduce by a factor 1.3. Now the gap value will be 1.3. Uh, the gap value will be something less than 1. Okay, the gap value will be less than 1. At that part, in this particular case, we need to stop. We need to stop. If the gap value reaches 1, then we need to stop. At, or, or you can say that if the gap value reaches less than 1, not 1, less than 1, then we need to stop. Now let me write the algorithm. Fine. So, what we need to do, we need to simply write the algorithm. So, algorithm. algorithm fine so we need to make a procedure void comb short and we will give this uh, procedure the unsorted list and its size I am calling it n fine now I need to make a variable gap and initialize it with the number of elements in the list Suppose I here I am taking it 5, you can take it anything, but it should be equal to the number of elements in the list. Right? Then I need to do this thing, cap equals to cap divided by 1.3. Now we need to take a loop counter variable i. Now we need to use a while loop while gap is greater than equals to 1 fine for i 0 to i less than equals to n minus 2 i plus plus n minus 2 because if we do up to n minus 1 then it will generate some index which does not exist in the array list if i plus gap equals equals or not equals equals i should say rather uh, greater than greater than n minus 1 fine we need to skip the iteration continue fine now we need to check if a of i is greater than a of i plus gap we need to simply swap them that means we need to simply give this two elements to the procedure exchange that means we need to give the integer array is position i and i plus gap fine end the for loop and here we were we going to, we are going to reduce the gap by the shrinking factor 1.3 this is the advantage actually the shrinking factor is the advantage in bubble sort we are comparing two adjacent element but here we are comparing element at a at a particular gap and every time at every iteration we are reducing the gap okay so 
this is the end of the procedure comb shot and the exchange procedure will look like this a int x int y it will look like this actually int it is an integer array I'm sorry and we need to make a temporary variable in temp is a of x just for swapping these things a of y and a of y is temp so this is our entire comb shot technique fine so if you have enjoyed this video Please do hit a like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.